The barbershop is the center of everything in the community. If you want to know something, politics, what's happening in the streets, any type of deals, anything, you come to the barbershop. The DNC is here in Chicago. How do y'all feel about that? It's, uh, it's a really interesting discussion. We're going to find out, you know, after this convention, how the American people feel about their pocketbooks. Tell me about the people that come and sit in your chair. What do, what do they say is, what's normally the number one issue they feel is facing the country right now? Finance. Finances? Support. Yeah, support. Cost of living is high. They tell me that they just, um, they want to see a change in inflation, prices. I think taxes are too high. Groceries are too high, taxes are too high, gas is too high, it's just too high. All the immigrants came in and they're giving them it's like the stuff they have for the Americans, they're giving it to the immigrants that's coming in. Mm -hmm. It hurts black people more than anything. Black men uh, particularly uh, like to work with their hands. They like to drive trucks. And, you know, those are jobs that, uh, you know, a, a, an illegal can come in and underbid him with third world prices and put him out of work. Who do you think is responsible for them, giving them the benefits and allowing them to come over? Biden. Trump was trying to uh, keep him out, mm -hmm. so to speak, uh, as much as he could, but Biden just like let the gate open. Who would win from the people that you speak to, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? 50-50. It's, up it's still a 50 50 race. Yeah, it's up in the air. Some people like Kamala because she represents change and she's different. Correct. Some people like Trump because they feel like he's more business minded. So it's just it's up in the air. It's a coin flip. Are they going to go for Kamala? Mm -hmm. And why do you think they're going to go for Kamala? Because they made it They made it about history now. I would vote for Kamala. So when you were telling me about the number one issue, was talking about illegal immigration and them coming to Chicago, mm -hmm. she represents the same thing as Biden. You said Trump fixed it, was trying to fix it. So why would you double down and vote, vote for Kamala? And the reason I would, like I said, vote for her is because I think it's time for a woman president. What do you say to the brothers that say, I'm just trying to, life was just better for me under the last administration? I don't believe that. I don't believe it. Especially yeah. people in our industry. But you do hear it, don't you? I hear it. I hear it, but I don't believe it. Yeah. I don't believe it. It's really enlightening to hear individuals start to change their political direction. I think it's time that blacks in, in, uh, in general need to boost our political IQ. Stop being blindly faithful to a one-party system that does not work for us. Growing up, you know, you choose to be like a, uh, a, a Democrat, you know, but they really don't know the history of it. It's time, to, you know, to start thinking about like, like thinking outside the box. Basically, most of us, I, I believe we, we voted Democrat because that's what we was brought up to do, you know? You go to the poll, they say, vote Democrat, vote Democrat. But I don't really see no change that they say that they're doing. Everything you're hearing from the Democrats are already things that they failed at over 30 years. Blacks are struggling more than any other demographic. We got the highest prison rate, highest high school dropout rate, highest murder rate. What's in it for us? Most blacks are conservative. Uh -huh. If the Republican Party could just learn how to communicate. And the reason why they can't communicate is they can't, they can't, uh, they can't, they don't get us. But a lot of people are waking up right now. As you can see, they're speaking to the brothers and sisters in the shop. And uh, you know how many barbershops and beauty salons are out throughout the country? This same conversation is happening pretty much in every Everywhere, shop. man, and it's changing. That's great, Lawrence. Uh, let me tell you, it was like being back at home. Yeah. And I, I credit the barbershop with making me someone that could do TV because you debate, you got to defend your issues, they'll laugh at you, go back and forth with you. But it was interesting because you would think that I was in Idaho somewhere or South Dakota in a diner because they're saying the same things that all of those people were saying, which is the economy is bad right now, inflation is killing us, and the border is a huge issue yeah. for the men mm -hmm. that I spoke with. And it's very insulting for them to be struggling and working hard, and then you decide that you're just gonna give benefits to people that didn't come to the, to the country the right way. Um, I think they are the secret weapon in this election. Black males, whoever can disrupt that will win. If Donald Trump gets 30% of the black males support, the election is over. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.